This is Thesis in 3. Researchers have to explain their PhD in just three minutes using just three slides. It's an easy idea, it's a very difficult thing to do. And this year there's an added twist. All of the heads of the CSETs have to do the same about their particular departments. It'll be interesting to see how the new blood compared to the old guard. Hello and good evening and welcome to Thesis in 3. We have a panel of judges here with us tonight who will be gauging all of the separate presentations and choosing one winner and one runner-up. They are Dr. Graham Love, Carol Egan, and Olin McGowan. A little the idea here is to be able to communicate something to people in a nice, simple language, a simple idea that connects with people. I think the standard of communication is actually higher as the younger generation is coming up. And I think that's probably because we're placing more emphasis on that and it's events such as this that are getting those people to understand I need to be able to talk about my science simply. I think as that message filters down, people are going to understand that I need to be a good scientist, I need to be a good lecturer, I need to be a good talker. If you ever tried watching a high definition video online, you probably had at least one of those very frustrating experiences in which the video would take forever to load or would stop repeatedly while playing. So today I'm going to talk about the monitoring and protecting of our environment. Why is the environment important? Well, everybody sitting in this room is directly affected by the environment. So I was very nervous uh, before I started. You think three minutes, three slides, how hard can it be? But it's actually very difficult and it's very difficult to use terminology that you wouldn't usually use on your day-to-day -day, uh, academic life. It's really tough to get you know, the, the, all the ideas from your PhD. Your PhD thesis, you're working for three or four years, to kind of turn around and kind of forget about the algorithms, forget about the, you know, the, the really technical parts of it and say, okay, if I was explaining this to my granny, how would I go about it? So I start with a picture of my mother. I suppose that's where it all started. And I tried to pitch this talk at her. I would recommend this competition to any researchers out there. It really gives you a chance to hone your communication skills and to present your research to a wide public audience. The purpose of Telomer is to protect the DNA from degradation and the loss of vital genetic information. It works just like the caps and shoelaces for stopulases from unravel. This is really what it's about. It's about getting our message of what science we do to the public in as simple a manner as possible. How you convey your message, how you choose your words, how you speak, how you present things is critical. There are a few who are very clearly got the idea of simplicity. No graphs, no formula, no jargon. Now, audience prize, as voted by all of you guys, goes to uh, Emmanuel de Pascale from CTDR. <laughs> Our winner of prize goes to uh, Thomas Schwarzel from System Quality. Or should I say Bob? Hello, Bob. Really innovative, I like that. Okay, the winner tonight um, of the Thesis in Three competition, um, the judges were absolutely unanimous on this, was uh, Deirdre Coden from Clarity. Very clear the lady who won tonight. Clean water is a right for everyone. Very clear what the proposition was. Cheap sensor development, excellent.